everyone. We are going to be making bath bombs today and we are working on the uh, the recipe today. <laughs> you can't tell I'm a little nervous. Uh, first you want to start off with having a good scale. Um, this one's okay. It's lasting me a while so that's what I like about it. It does need more new batteries. You want to make sure we're we're working with um, grams, so make sure your scale is set to grams. Use your preferred bowl and then set to zero. I work with a shifter. Cause I buy my baking soda from Costco, and it's always lumpy. So we're going to get 800 grams of baking soda. It's okay if you go over or under 800. That isn't going to mess with your recipe very much. And I'm constantly playing around with this recipe. Um, so I definitely encourage it. Get it right to how you like your bath bombs and what your humidity is well. Um, so we're going to save the citric acid uh, for the very last ingredient that we add. We're going to skip that for now and go down to cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a hardener. I just use this guy. And we want 25 grams of cream of tartar. Just pour it in slowly. And then I use, I do use cornstarch in my recipe. It is supposed to help make your skin softer. And I know some people don't prefer it, but I do. So we're gonna do 100 grams of cream of tartar. Make sure you zero your scale out. So 100 grams. Hundred oh two, that's fine. And then sixty grams of Kalon clay. And I probably say that incorrectly. Nobody's ever corrected me. So sixty grams. I just order mine off eBay. I get these giant bags of them. And our next ingredient is, I'm gonna put my mask on for this one. SLSA. It's gonna help with your, I use, I use SLSA and buttermilk, which will help with your foaming and your fizzing in your bubbles. Well, the citric acid is for the fizzing. This will help. This is my SLSA, and we want 40 grams of it. And then next is the buttermilk. And we're gonna do 60 grams of buttermilk. Don't forget to zero out your scale. This is my absolute favorite buttermilk to use. I'm having a harder time finding it. So 
So I'm trying to experiment with other buttermilks, but I haven't found one that I quite like as much as this one yet. We're gonna do 60 grams. That's 30. 57. And 57 is okay. I'm happy with that number. <clears throat> if you want to want to do some colors, you can do that as well. I just have these cute little spoons. I'm trying to decide what color I should do. Let's do some green. This is a let's do this green. It's called Crazy Eyes for Mad Micas. And I use both micas and likes. You can tell I, I haven't opened this yet. I just got my box in yesterday. And it came pretty quickly. I ordered um, Thursday and I received it yesterday, which was Monday. So I was pretty happy with that. I'm just going to do one fourth teaspoon. I'm just going to put that in there. Scale. A little up here like that. So you can see. Kind of mix with my hand for a second, get all that. S L S A in there. Mix it slowly. <clears throat> We're gonna go on to our wet ingredients. It's my bowl. Make sure it's on grams. <clears throat> We're gonna do 30 grams of poly 80. And I've had this one for a while. That's from Make Your Own Buzz. But I've heard that they're a different company now. I'm not sure. I haven't ordered from them in a long time. Um, so 30 grams. This gives your bath bomb more oil and it helps not Stain your skin from the micas. Yeah, it's 29, that's good. And then we're going to do 40 grams of coconut oil, and it is melted. That's good. <clears throat> and then we're gonna do 20 grams of witch hazel. I just I get mine at Target. And then 30 grams of fragrance oil. And I'm going to go with um, Pink Passion Fruit and Banana Flavor from Money Company. I love this scent so much. So zero out your scale, 30 grams. It's 32, that's fine. <clears throat> take one of my paint brushes and I mix that all in together. This is where it gets really fun. Not really. <laughs> this is where the mess happens. I had a, a lid for my bowl but it cracked in half and I haven't ordered another one yet. 
But I have these giant cheesecloths that I got from the Dollar Tree. And it comes in a pack of two, which is awesome. I just wrap around my mixer so the dust doesn't fly everywhere. And I started off easy. And I just I throw this in there. Oops. Gotta lock that too. I just throw it in there. You can uh, put it in there a little at a time. It's whatever you prefer to do. I'm gonna lock that up. And I'm gonna make it go fast. You just wanna keep that going for a couple of minutes. And while we do that, we are gonna get our citric acid ready. Again, use the shifter if you need to. And we're gonna do 400 grams of citric acid. Citric acid, it makes me sneeze a whole lot more than SLSA does. I don't know why. So, okay, so we got 453 here, so I'm going to lower that. I'm going to take some out. That is a bit much. 402, that's good. stop it here to mix it all in. Got my little spatula. Get the corners and the bottom. Make sure it's all mixed in properly. So at this point it looks like this. So we're gonna mix it a lot more and add our citric acid. Lock it. for the sides and the bottoms. That does not mix as well as the middle does. Who knew? Okay, and now our mix looks like this, which is awesome. But we're gonna mix some more and we're gonna add our binder. And I just use water as a binder. Just a couple squirts. Well, I'm satisfied. Okay, 
think I might need a bigger bowl. satisfied I am with this. And if you see like little white specks in there still, you want to continue mixing. So I'm just checking to see if there's any white specks. This is our mix now. It's like green specks in there from the mica, so I might mix just a little bit more. Maybe add some more binder. You can never over mix your bath bomb mix. If it dries out on you, you can just add some more binder and that will be okay. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Get this out of the way now. And we're going to be working with the bathtub. I know my video that I made on the bathtubs, um, I didn't really talk in it, I just kind of illustrated. So we're going to, I'm going to talk, talk uh, I'm going to talk you through this. We have three parts to your bathtub. We're going to start with these two pieces those together. Dust them in there. You want to get like this and then compress all this. Get it all compacted in there. You cannot compact too tightly. Not that I know of. I mean, I'm, I'm getting it in there pretty good. And then what you do not want to do, don't have just that. Because what's going to happen, we're going to try it this way. What's going to happen, and if you just mold it like that, let's see. Your bottom's going to fall out. And that's what we want to try to avoid with this mold. So, let's try that again. <clears throat> These two pieces, put them together. Sprinkle in your mix. Compact the sides. Get your fingers in there. That's what she said. Compact the sides. <laughs> Sprinkle more dust or more mix on the top. And you want it to look like a mountain. You don't want to brush that off. Because this is kind of like a bubble if you think about it. And you need to be able to get the mix in this part here. So that's really, if you think about it, that, that's what we're trying to fill. This part. And that's what this is going to do. Don't be afraid if it's too much it's going to compact down. So we're going to get that in there. I'm going to get the extra off here. I'm going, to, I'm going to apply pressure. Lots and lots of pressure. That's what she said. You're 
you're gonna bang on it. And what this is gonna do, it's gonna help mold your, your mix together. And it's also going to um, clear it from the sides because right now it's probably like sticking to the sides and this is gonna help get it off and mold together. the top off. Should look like that. Can you see the bottom? Let's see if I can bring you in here just a little bit more to unmold this. Okay. <clears throat> Flip it upside down. Oh, can't see that. Flip it upside down, you take your ring off, and then you're gonna tap the sides because it's probably stuck still. And this is gonna help loosen the mix from the mold. Gently try to pull up until it lets you pull. And there you go, you have a perfect bottom. Let's do that again. Okay. Again, it's okay if your mix starts to dry out a little bit. Uh, if you feel like it's too dry, add your binder and mix it some more. But I'm happy with this still. Okay, press that down. more mix, make a mountain. Enough to fill this part here. Place that on top. And compress down as much as you can. And if you can't compress down like this, if you have a presser, I have a a can crusher that I like to use and the bathtub fits perfect in a can crusher and I have another video showing you how to use that as well but it's just basically this Oops, on smack it with your spoon my husband is stressed and crazy because he thinks I'm going to break the mold, but that's not breaking. Take the top off slightly. See that? Take the ring off and tap on it until it comes loose. 